What happened? I just heard gunshots. Any eyewitness? Yeah. And the security guard was at the gate. By the time he opened to chase, they had already fled. Is he the only one? Who was their bodyguard? <laughs> Why didn't you go with them? They left me here. I didn't even notice when they left. Oh, you know what was going to happen? Then you stayed back? Arrest him. <laughs> There was a, a young woman called Dorcas that came in to see her. But Dorcas is my grandmother. She's definitely not that young. No, the receptionist clearly described her. She was young. Our age met. Who could that be? Her oxygen saturation is back up now. She's at age five. Is 85 good? Yeah. You can go and talk to her and uh, so that she can keep fighting. Okay. You just played the wrong cards, Lucy. She needs to calm down. Francis, I am going to make you cry until you go numb. Numb, 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 He really loved her so much and his unborn child. My goodness. Yeah, that really messed him up a lot. And you know, it was one way he was going to forget all the love he had for Prince. I know. So, who are we looking at if Oscar says no? No, I was seeking your permission. I wanted to poach Kater's daughter. You know, she and uh, Patrick have the same brains. But we'll lose our essence as a family business. Oh, you don't have to decide about it now. I'll think about it. Okay. We need to put an end to Lucy's madness once and for all. We can't afford her the opportunity to attack us all the time. What do you have in mind, sir? We need to attack her first. Yeah. You need to put that teacher to good use. I need you in that house to get some things for me. I'm not going to do that for you. Remember, it's your assignment. So call Vanessa and find out what she's up to. We had a chat about this. You can't succeed in anything. I just haven't played my cards right yet. And you will fail again. You will lose and lose. I don't care. I will drag you to hell with me if you don't give me back my son. You are talking, but nothing makes sense. The next time, Linda won't survive. There won't be a next time. By the way, no one will see what you That's a lie. I'm his life. No, you are not. He has been here all the time. Never missed you even for a single moment. We even talked about you. You wouldn't understand. Why are you wasting your efforts on somebody who doesn't love you? Are you that desperate for affection? He's my son. <laughs> You're the monster that he dreads so much and doesn't want to be around with. When did she start drinking again? Sorry? She was doing really well at rehab. Yeah, but she still is. No, Dad, she's back to where she started and now she's in hospital. When will this be over? Look here, Melissa. Don't be quick to judge your mother until you hear the full story. I'm trying not to, but I just keep wondering, like, when we go back to normal, where mom is okay and I don't have to be escorted to the mom bathroom by a security guard, oh, constantly worried about if one of us will be killed the next day. It will be over soon, Melissa. When? Melissa, let darkness and day teach you one thing. Before the sun comes out, Darkness is at its peak, but morning eventually comes. I just want us to be normal. The Kirundas have never been normal. Maybe that's why you managed to beat the odds. We will be fine. Okay, Dad. What?